So everyone's happy at the Cattaria course because it put a few things right after the grand final. And we're calling the game, Damo, and I turn yeah, no. to the race. Yeah, because it always, race watch always interests me. Your man last week from, uh, I think it was last week, or might have been the week before from Gold Coast. Nothing. My man. Oh, Tony Cochran. Yeah. Oh, Is he the head of the yeah. race yeah. actually on the grass, yeah. being yeah. completely yeah. ignored by his own coaching staff and yeah. then players I love Tony. with purple pants <laughs> on, but he's out on the grass. That so I'm thinking, well, that's that's no good. <laughs> but then I go, well, even back in the race, it interests me as to who parks themselves in there. And yep. Well, uh, just uh, hit it, please, Leroy. <laughs> oh, no. When you have a big win, don't people suddenly appear? <laughs> Like leeches. What is this? Out of nowhere, Brownless has found himself in the race. Oh. Extraordinary scenes. Fat. What, 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 what Bill, about you, Bill? You've just Bill. got to stop doing this. Bill. It's about me. Bill, you didn't no, have an official you've role. you got nothing to do with the joint. Oh, you, had a, you had a Hawaiian shirt on. Official yeah. guest. A wide shirt. The jacket didn't Tell go on. with the shirt. Oh, it looked good. <laughs> uh, oh. Official guest of the Geelong so Cats what? last night. So what? And they said, come down and we'll go into the rooms. The boys would love to see the past players. Oh, oh, oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> and I'm just standing in the Bill, race. I guess some of those players have taken ADOs out against you. I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think and there's Tom, anything Tom worse. Tom Hawkins v line When you're coming off, I don't yeah, think there's yeah. anything worse than Tom seeing an ex- V-line me. Standing in the race. And give me a high five, then blitzes oh, there. Oh, but it's okay. just good to see the young they, blokes. They, just they, see, like, they love seeing the past players in no, the race. No, they don't. Do they, they do it. Yes. Yeah, they, they do that high five. Jack Henry. Out of sympathy. Jack yeah, Henry. Yeah. Sympathy it is. There's an awkward <laughs> sympathy. An awkward yeah. sympathy. Not only sympathy, Duck. They're looking at him going, I saw you Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. I saw you Wednesday. You were thrusting a jumper ahead of me on Thursday during the captain's run. Jack Henry. Now I'm looking at you again. Jack Henry come over and got a photo. Mate, they love it. It's good having the past players. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, Tom Stewart actually ran past me at once and he's looking for his wife, right? He said, Bill, how'd you get in here? I can't <laughs> even get me wife in here. <laughs> That's what he said, Tommy. Not one, you're the only past player down yeah. in the room. And what does that tell you? <laughs> you're the sad. only enough, enough. <laughs> sad. <laughs> It's actually sad. sad. <laughs> well, at least I was there supporting the boys. And then at the end, there was uh, me and Craig Drummond, the new president, and Brian Cook, and the power broker just standing oh, there. Oh, yeah. my God. See who <laughs> plays next week. You know what that power broker was saying? Yeah. Said, before you, I know you got something, Damo, but, but there's Duck, Hodgie, and myself. We're trying to do the wrap-up yes. of the national television broadcast of Friday Night Football. <laughs> yeah. I'm standing there trying to broadcast to the nation, <laughs> yeah. and all I hear is, Jim! Jim! <laughs> yeah. Go Cats! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what sort of imbecile are we dealing with? I was wondering with? if you could hear me. I, oh, I heard oh, a few oh. derogatory terms come my way as well. Yeah, well, what are you it's doing in there, well, prancing I around? Was, I, I could hear because I wasn't saying anything. No, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That'd be true. Hey, you're having your cup way, with Hodgie. By the way, a very good win, but a couple of things. First time the three big recruits had played together. Yes. Jeremy Cameron, Sean Higgins, Isaac Smith. Oh, that is Mark uh, that we're just watching. Yeah, we're going to do all this in the next oh, segment. Oh, no, no, no. But... And I reckon they did it last night a bit for Frank Costa, if I can just say that oh, off yeah. the top. No, yeah. I, think you're right. I, I think they did it for him. So well done there. And we've got to find out Dylan Grimes, his delayed concussion, mm. how that happened. Do we? All right, well, we'll get okay. to the next segment well, we do. What, what I did spend some time. Is this another investigation no, I'm, I'm, bill? We might be investigating. Okay. Yes. <laughs> but what, what I did do during the week was another special investigation bill. Um, and now I oh. cut you out of this one because oh. it actually has you as, as central to what we're about to reveal oh, here today. No, so, Danny. Jim, 29 yes. years ago this week yes. was 29. the time that the Geelong Football Club <laughs> scored the record VFL oh, AFL yes, score. Yes. Duck, a score line of 37. 17, 239. Was that mm. Carrara Burn yep. against yep. Brisbane Bears as they Brisbane. were back then? In the uh, early Who were stages. A, best uh, sort of new really ordinary. Team. Gets, a run, gets, a, <laughs> just gets a run every year. Yeah. Yeah. Early May 1992. So, but thought, Doug, the special investigation is not about the result. It's, mm. it's about the forensic analysis of the actual match itself right. and how it unfolded okay. and who did what. And oh. we had a look at it, Bill. Yeah. We had a look at it, Bill. Right, and Damien. the individual yeah. performances in this game a, a wingman kicked nine goals, nine. a back pocket kicked three, yep. a halfback flanker kicked six, yep. another. Half Half-back flanker, flanker kick three. Six. That's and it gets us to the full forward oh. of the day, Jim. In, oh. in a score of 37 yep. goals yep. was our man Bill Brownless, oh, who it. managed a total of three goals oh. for this game. Three goals. But a Tom Hawkins type game. Oh, was it? Gary oh, Ablett played on the wing. Off. Gary played on the wing. Gary Ablett. He was supposed to be playing the wing. He was standing right in front of me the whole game. He wasn't listening to the coach, Malcolm Blight. So, so given it was 29 years to the day, Jim, yeah. uh, yes. we, we rang Malcolm Blight to oh, see no. if he could come on. Now, he's on yes. engaged on, otherwise today, but he uh, he did respond, though, oh, this way. This would be good. Hi, Damien. Uh, Malcolm Blight here. Look, sorry I can't come on with you today live. I'm just out and about. 
Hey, but listen, you probably don't know this, but 29 years ago, 29 years ago, the Geelong Football Club kicked the world record, 37 goals, 17. And of course, the great Gary Ablett kicked nine from a wing. And we had a full forward. A full forward, you think, in 37 goals could kick more than three goals. You, you'd think he could kick more than three goals when a W Brown was. And would you believe it? In the box, I knew we had a world record in our double step. And some bloke had a kick at goals to give us 38 goals. And he kicked a point. And you know who that kicked that miserable, rotten point right at the sign at the end of the game? One, Bill Brownless. Hope you have a great day, Barry, uh, Damien. Oh, and the black one side. Bye. Barrett. 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 So, that's the special investigation yeah. no, for well today. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, no, three goals, That Bill. is no investigation. All you've done is look up the history no, book. No, I looked at the game. Mate, I could look it up right now. No, no, history I books. actually watched the game back. I want, that's three hours I won't 30 get back. years ago, you were a cadet at the... Camperdown Chronicle. Fair dinkum. You've got no idea there. But I did kick a point. Now, I don't know if... Oh, we have got it. right? Let's just have a listen to this audio because uh, when uh, I take this mark on the siren... 14 goals in the last quarter. You didn't contribute any. Us and None. Fitzroy are the same score, record score, OK? So we need a goal or a point will give you the record score. But all he needs to do is kick it behind and Geelong will hold the record score. And the Bears... We'll have the, well, unenviable record of being the team that the record score was kicked against. Browners kicks it behind. There's the siren. There it is. So don't Jeez. worry about Barry Breen and his point that did something down at St Kilda. That is the best point well, you'll even, ever see. Even John Hutton on the other team, yeah. out of out of a score of eleven goals, kicked eight. <laughs> he did kick eight. Yeah. Out of eleven. Anyway, no, no, we actually had a bit of a look at this on seven. How long ago? Duck yeah. about a month ago. Everyone's and, looked at and it, and we've. <laughs> As we were doing it, Brownless is on to me going, well, centre half back. So it was. Yeah. Oh, we're, we're looking yeah. at the vision. Exactly. Where was number 16? You played full exactly. forward the whole game. In the goal square. Centre half square. back. Full like, forward the whole game. Anyway, everyone's looked at that, Damien. That's not a Bill, specimen. That, that's a, just a, a, a look up the record books. It's like making shot. 400 oh. in a 50 over game yes. and batting three and making 17 off 30 <laughs> rocks. <laughs> that's what that's like. Well, holding an end up. Exactly and, the same. Oh, and Malcolm Bly can get stuffed anyway. He said a bit more about you too, which we've decided to leave out today. He, he, he said, Jim, that he's really actually annoyed. I think it's real. You've made up every story you've told about him. I haven't he made said him not up. one of them ever happened. And none of them. No, no, he said made... the lights never went off that Bullshit. day. The lights oh, didn't go oh, off. Oh, he said the lights never went off. He's denying the Austin McCrab, even though that happened. He's the VHS. That, 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 that didn't happen either. That's the best one when he turned the lights off no, when he, we're in a tiny little room. Yeah, he said he can't remember that. Didn't do it. He said it never happened. Spa never happened. That never happened. None of it. <laughs> no, but the pool when we went around to Rocky, the great the Ablett, late Rocky Burnett's house, that that happened. We Ablett, went around. Applet lack of band footy boot never mm. happened. Oh, oh, duck, duck. <laughs> duck. Didn't happen. The no. wheel's been the wheels. That oh, right, uh, been laid no, on the no, wheel. Yes. Oh, <laughs> duck. Oh, so all of a sudden, ducks found a bit of a sprinkling over there. <laughs> I hope you've had plenty of sleep, duck. I hope you're fresh because oh. I have seen you at the florist today oh, with Bill. six oh. different bouquets. Oh. Oh. Six oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, different yeah. bouquets oh, for tomorrow. Jokes. For tomorrow, Mother's Day. Oh, I knew it'd come there out. There it is, Mother's Day. He walked out. You couldn't see where he's going. He had that many flowers and roses. And now, so, Duck, just run us through your Bill, day tomorrow. Uh, Bill, there's a thousand Bill, kilometres. <laughs> a little bit of planning goes into it. So, so what do you do tomorrow? What time? You well, have to be up early. Well, the, the E-tag's topped up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have you filled the car up with petrol? Yeah, yeah. I've got to go over the bolt here. Oh, then, how many times? Back, uh, just, uh, go, geez, I hope none of them are in the car. Uh, Westgate? Do you go over the Westgate? Yeah, uh, yeah Once, back that way. Then yeah. Back down towards Black Rock for a little, <laughs> little trip down there and then. How many bouquets sort of are you going to drop off? Might even jump on the ferry and head across to Geelong. <laughs> yes, yes. He's got a big day on the morrow, our boy, Dark. Dark's actually stolen the florist van. He <laughs> said, <laughs> leave me with the van. Oh, I'll have that for tomorrow. He's it out. Drop it back it's Monday. He's shorting the flowers. <laughs> he was like Sandra. I tell, you what, it's a I tell you what, a very yeah. special day. I enjoy every bit of it. Oh, of course it's, it is. Uh, yeah, oh, very yeah. All on turkey. Time consuming. Oh, what was that? Oh. I'm going to get all that done. Are you all on talking oh, terms? Get, oh, brilliant. Good. 
Well done. Well done. That's I, good. I've got, Turkey. Get, I've, I've got to get all of that done before I do the footy at one o'clock. <laughs> oh, you're I'm busy. Up, I'm up at 5 a.m. <laughs> mate. <laughs> five. Oh. But hey, it's all about no, them. Of it's course all it is. Well Magnificent. Done. What do you do tomorrow, Burn? Is, is uh, Mrs. Burn all yeah. the way down the peninsula get looked after? Nah, she's okay. I'm just going to make a phone call. Uh, I'm over in, obviously, Melbourne for the weekend. So, Where's she? Uh, she's uh, in, in Stansbury on the farm, uh, oh, York Peninsula. Jeez, that'd be good. Yeah, on nah, the farm. It's, all, it's all happening there. It's yeah. waiting for it to rain, Bill. She'll shear a couple still, of sheep tomorrow. Are we still or sponsored or by Chemist Warehouse? Oh, why? Well, well, maybe they could throw me some perfume. Or something. <laughs> oh, I can't <laughs> Condoms would have been handy. Bob, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Damo? Bob, Bill. What are you? Uh, well, we, we're on the Sunday footy show. Yeah, but yeah. For me, but you make a meal every Sunday anyway. Yeah, but in the South Melbourne market, and buy a little roast ham. <laughs> How'd no, that go no. last week? No, it was a, it was a leg of lamb. Yeah, and um, yeah, it was beautiful last week. Burn, thanks for yeah, asking. Nice. And, yeah. and what do you do, Jim? My uh, <laughs> my beautiful younger two. <laughs> Oh, which, um, I thought he meant the just, girlfriend. Yeah, sure no, <laughs> no, she always gets beautifully looked at. No, the younger two, uh, yeah, George no. and Freddie. Yeah. I get an I get an inquiry during the week. <laughs> oh, no. I need to get something for mum. Yes. Yeah. And then I get a little picture of a perfume or something in the phone. Can you maybe look after that for me? And I think to myself, if I haven't got enough. <laughs> <laughs> Enough hasn't departed out of the account, Pat. Oh, no. I got the Keep message. Going. I got the family message. Do you want to put in for some a, a candle? I said, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Candle's 20 bucks, Bill. Just put five in. Oh, I'm with Jim. Yeah. Wait, no, you've lost much, a bit, have you? you? No. Oh, houses. Oh. <laughs> No, they, they uh, duck your spot on. Yeah. The mums are superb, yeah, they and they do, do the, the the unrewarded running Absolutely. in her footy terminology. Yes, yes, Up yes. and down the wing, not guaranteed to get yep. in the nurry. Nah, they agree. do a magnificent oh. job, and I'll tell you what, Fat, <laughs> you, you, if your mum hadn't run you around, yes. bloody drill drill, 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 to all the grounds on. and, you know, all and the she training. Did and Dad didn't do it. Let's bloody mum was the one. Let's not forget just sometimes the thought counts. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on, Jack. No, well, Bill, well, Bill you, you didn't even want to splash on a candle. No, I will. I've outlaid. I think they got 25 out of me. <laughs> no. Oh, 25. You just spent 55 25 in the early quarks. I just spent 50 bucks on breakfast. <laughs> All the mums have a great day tomorrow. Sorry, yeah. Very, very special yes, Mother's exactly. Day. Hey, yeah, we need to get to go to... through all of this again tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Sunday. That's it. Good. They won't do it as entertaining. No. Uh, we're going to have a look at last night's game. Very good, the Cats. Oh, yes, Pat will get his moment in the sun next. But, geez, we've got a big show. Leon Cameron's going to join us. Quiz. Blast from the past. Oh. Sauce Jacobs. Oh. Three-time oh. showdown medal winner, if you don't mind. Triple M favourite. Nuffy of the week. Bernard's in fine form. Zach Tui's going to join us. We've got lots of news. Oh, she's a biggie. Uh, for McDonald's and Ream Hot Water. And as well as that, Hard Yakka for a new breed of legends. Triple M Rock Footy. Another team assembled here. Richard Marsden Studio, South Melbourne, getting ready for GWS and Essendon. We've got uh, Bernie Vince. We've got Fat Brown. Let's yes. see. He just behaved in a way last night that embarrassed, well, all his mates, so oh, about three it. people. Uh, we've also got Purple here and, of course, Duck. And a big show coming up. Leon Cameron, a coach at GWS, ahead of Essendon. The game coming shortly. Source Jacobs, blast Ooh, from the past. Source. Nuffy of the week, Zach Tui. Uh, but we need to discuss last night. And congratulations, uh, Duck. I'm going to start this with you. I reckon go to Chris Scott. I know in his press conference... He was very quick to point out that they yeah. didn't do anything different and they didn't move the ball differently. But to the naked eye, they there's did. no doubt well, they did. And well done to him for changing mid-game and getting the ascendancy back. I, I think they're one team that have always been able to change on the run. I think they've done it better than anyone. And when I say change, I mean tweak. Yep. And that's exactly what they did. They did move it quicker. And, when, and yes, they still played that possession-style game out of the back half. But that play that they gave it to was able to then move it on more quickly. Mm. If you move it slowly against Richmond, it played straight into their hands. They were able to take uh, uh, intercept marks, although if you listen to BT, it wasn't yeah, intercept yeah. marks. We'll get to that. They you were can't able get to his head around that, BT. They to take marks one-on-one, on one, and therefore it, it, they did. They looked stagnant, and they looked like they weren't able to score, yeah. even though they had this firepower. Then they started to just move it, a bit more fluency, and the whole thing changed. Plus... Their, their pressure rating went up. They matched yep. Richmond in an area yeah, that Richmond did. have uh, made their own. And then guess what we saw? We saw Richmond. We saw Richmond like Panic. any other oh. team. They panicked. They made mistakes. Their good players got beaten in one-on-ones. 50-50 balls went Geelong's way. Drop marks. All of these mm. little things started to just – because you know why? Scoreboard pressure. Yep. So then all of a sudden that, that pressure, which I believe is the main one, added on with Geelong's uh, – smothering and tackling and but Joel Selwood who 
didn't have massive numbers. Oh, it, there was a big moment heart. where he do- yeah. dived on the ball and, uh, he and, was and angry. smothered it, and yeah. then they got a goal. He did. He did look angry, he didn't did, he? He played that, angry. He, he yeah. did. And, yeah. and and by the way, I think there were a few that played. A little angry. Yeah. When you get beaten by a team in a grand final, Bill, the next That's time right. you come up against them, you, you do have something to prove, even though it'll never, it'll never no, take it right. away. But, but they had to beat Richmond, yep. and, but now they've got to beat them in the final. And, and yes. Geelong know that. They're not getting mm. carried away. I just love Tommy Stewart running with Dusty. Dusty go in the middle, but when he went forward, Tommy Stewart, was, he's a very good athlete. They learn, so off, he went Hibbard. With him. They learn off Hibbard yeah, a couple exactly. of weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. And then I love Big Sav coming in, his first, second and third efforts in the ruck, and then him and Blitz working it out and doing a really good job in the ruck and going forward and things like that. Or only against and the, Pickett and the, at one stage. And the big yeah. forwards, weren't they on song? Yeah. Wow. Bill, Bill, let's discuss those th- uh, three forwards. Um, Jeremy Cameron's now played the three games. Tom Hawkins is, has been a gun for a long time already. Gary Rowan's now fitting in absolutely beautifully. And uh, Chris got... Uh, uh, talk this component uh, of his setup up very, very highly last night. I thought it was going to take a little bit longer to build that cohesion. I'm, I'm a big believer in our coaching group is as well, but I mean, we've obviously been conscious not to put a lid on them. You know, we'd like to see it. We've been working towards it, but uh, well, now that you've mentioned Rowan, he's one of the ones I'm talking about. And he's 150th tonight. If you can somehow get a hold of his highlights over the course of his career, if you looked at them in isolation, you'd think you're looking at the best player in the comp. He has it in him. And I think the other two down there, they're certainly not going to hurt him. They've got three dangerous forwards to burn, haven't they? And, and oh, history yeah. says if you've got three who can all hit the scoreboard, you're going to finish up near the top of the, the ladder. Clearly now they're getting their symmetry worked out now that Cameron's come in. Yeah, and, and we th- all thought it was going to take time. but they're, I reckon they're, that's rhubarb. You reckon? When, when people say it takes time. If you've got footy IQ, it doesn't take time. You know not to run to someone's space or run in or out of a space if you've got any sort of footy brain not at all. Not everyone's got that, though. No, no, not everyone's got it. And and the just, sorry, Bernie, yeah, Kate, but the, the, Gary Rowan, the Gary Rowan element to what Chris Scott's saying is he's now the third banana. Yep. Yeah. And when he's the third banana, he will do, he'll have games like he did last night. Yep. And, uh, well, get Jeremy Cameron admitted that he said it was going to take time uh, last night. Yeah. And he said, we're just starting to find our feet. He's playing up when they when they switch uh, sides and they go up the ground, they stay deep. But I, I, I love the look of them. You know, there's been a big question mark about Geelong, I feel, the, probably the first five or six weeks. They're only just going. And that big win over West Coast, and then they lose to Sydney up Should've there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it, we just didn't know about them, but I think last night is it. Do you have to beat Richmond in this competition to be taken seriously? Because Melbourne weren't trusted yeah. until they beat Richmond, and then Geelong well, a bit the same last night. I reckon you do. Yeah, is it Richmond? Is that, are they the measuring I, stick? Well, well, they are because no, their no. their game plan is stacked up well, in finals, the, and and, the and, and, and it's just built off it's built off absolute extreme pressure. Uh, they're hard to beat. They don't go away. They keep coming. So I, I, they are the yardstick still. And Richmond, they, they haven't liked this year, the, the games they've lost, they haven't liked when teams have brought what they do. They don't like their own medicine. Right. Big pressure. When the pressure's yeah. over that 200 mark, we've seen Richmond just what well, you said last night. They they just made simple errors. They, they didn't, didn't defend they as well. They were human, weren't they? Well, yeah, they they were. That's a good way to put it, Bill. They've battled through adversity in, in each of the three flags that they've won. Last year was the most recent example of that, Dark. And, and that there were stages last year they looked gone again. Yeah. They've never been four and four though at the start of one of these seasons when they've yeah. had this run. They've had they've had moments. Don't get me wrong, but this is a different problem. They've now got to wade through. Yeah, it is. I'm 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 not writing Richmond off. I mean, you you no. put Cochin back into there and Grimes back yep. in, and you know they're a different team straight away. Way. So but to that point, Doug, you talk to all the other footy departments over the last three years and you, you, everyone eulogises how incredible Richmond have been because they have. Yep. They've been by far the best team in the competition. But out of the corner of all of the footy managers and the assistant coaches and the coaches' mouths, in the last three years, Damo, they've all said, yeah, but just throw an injury at them. Mm. They've had the mm, most man. blissful yeah, run of yeah. no injury yeah, for nearly four straight years. Yeah. And that's credit to their yeah. staff and their systems and all the rest of it. But... They, they've just, you can have collision injuries that knock blokes out for 12. They haven't yep. had any of that. Now they've got Prestia, Cochin, Lambert, Grimes out of that side last night, and they're four of their best six, seven players. Yeah. That, what it shows to me is that even when you're as good as Richmond are, you're not covering those blokes, not mm. consistently against good opposition. No, it it is on. huge when you have but, your best players not yeah. available for selection. They do, cover, they do cover and have covered, as you said, when they have had a few of one those. One or two. Yeah, they've one before. or two. Yeah, no, and that's right, soldier, and that's what yeah. they do. They hang, they hang in there. They hang in there better than any other team. And then you look at the, the Bakers and the Arts who mm. kicked three last yep. night, and these guys mm. and you say well 
they just bring consistent effort. You will ne- you can never ever knock them play for their what role, they bring they? every they week. I'll tell you what we did see last night. Mark of the year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shy Bolton. I'll tell you what, it was better at the ground than it was on TV. Did you, you, you guys were all oh, there. I loved it. Yep. Mate, no, it, was it, just, it was higher, I reckon, at the ground. He, it was well, unbelievable. He, he is a star. You know, yeah, and you know what it was? You know what, Bill, and this is what you don't see on the TV. He called that, he was calling yeah, that yeah. in long. He, yep. was, he was like a big forward yep. saying, get it in here to me quick, yeah. get it in. He, he wanted to go for a fly, but duck, and he just got the love perfect ride. These small forwards, uh, flying around, Liam flying around. Yep. Uh, but also Cozzy Pickett's now yes, ripping yeah, into yeah, him, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Shea Bolton. I mean, yeah. they're not big stature, but they're, they're happy yeah, yeah. to sit on blokes' heads. Yeah. How good. And, that, and it was pure leap. Oh yeah, pure yeah. leap Straight. off. It didn't have a massive run up. Didn't no. have a big run nah, in. Nah. The fact that the cats just let him sort of yeah, get, get that, but it was a, it was Perfect. what two or three Lips. steps. Yep. And, and just went straight Lips up. Lips Lips up. up. He'd be six, seven, wouldn't he, in the old six, school? Six, seven or eight. Yeah. He was perfect. He was sitting there. And you kind of get always, another little lift. Always want to, if, you, if you're going to do it, and as you, he's not a big guy, but uh, do it on someone that's able to hold you up there. Yeah. And yeah. go to and ground. Give you, yeah, go uh, to don't, ground. Don't crumble. Looks like you're if, you cr- if you crumble, it doesn't look as yeah. good. But he stood up in it, Blixarves. Damo, what's his currency worth now? Because he hadn't yeah. signed. He said he's put off contract. Shea Bolton, yeah, Bolton, yeah, and there's the always year. burn. That there's a there's a go price and a stay price. Mm. The, the stay price, Richmond would have to have its head around a 650 yep. or thereabouts oh. figure. Um, the go price would be higher than yeah, that for I, him. I've heard some crazy prices being thrown around. I know we hear that a lot in the media, but eight eight fifty is he worth? Is he worth that much to leave? I, I think he, I think if someone club was offering him that, that that's a risky offer for mm. for him. But but it needs to be more than what Richmond is going to mm. tempt him with. And and it, again, when I say six fifty, that, that that would be an extreme from a Richmond perspective, given yep. the the amount of quality they've got inside that salary cap already. Mm. But that's where he's uh, got his football too, and it's been clever negotiation to wow. to leave himself um out of cont- contract at this point in time. So if you look at the blokes we just mentioned, Prestia, Koch, and Lambert, Grimes, add to that Edwards, Martin. I'm probably missing a couple. He's not better than any of them no. on your list. And if you're paying him 650 to Ooh, 700 that's, right. that's going to be an advance of a lot of those blokes. So this is the problem when you're as good as Richmond. Yeah, it is. And the average is 400 or thereabouts these days, Jim. So you, he's, he's above that now in what he's yep. showing. And he's done it quite cleverly to sort of roll the dice on coming out of contract this year with, with the offers that will, will come. And whether he wants to leave, who knows? But... Mm. But again, with Ralph Carr as his manager, it'll it'll play out to the players' yeah. benefit. It's what happens with Ralph Carr. Have you found out what happened to Dylan Grimes yet? Because that was, I delayed was con- a delayed concussion yeah, out of the game, Bill. But I, I didn't get to the bottom of when the right, we'll when the make not. a couple of calls. You really? heard anything, Bill? I I just heard something last night in oh. the in the mix. Those of us duck <laughs> and Damo, we're oh, fat as well, who are old enough to remember the Hawks in the eighties. Richmond remind me so much of them. They often wobbled Hawks. Remember back yeah, in like the mid '80s, yeah. you'd get yeah. to sort of yeah. May, and everyone would think, "Oh, their their runs finished here." Yeah, yeah. '86, well, '88, and then, and then suddenly, and then '91, even when they yeah. kept yeah. going, yeah. it'd get to late August, yeah. and they'd come together, yeah. and blokes who had hardly had a kick suddenly found it, and then yeah. they get into September and win the flag, yeah. and you'd go, "How did we write this mob off?" But we're not yeah. writing Richmond off. No one is. Well, like no, ten goals though. No. The, the margin concerned me a little bit. Yeah, ten, ten it, goals. I don't know if. There's Over something different this year. That the four and four score line this early, and and some of the losses. Yeah, and, and yeah, I'm, I'm, and I, I wrote MC, them off in round one when and, Rance went down two nineteen. Yeah. Bill, I'll never write them off again. Because that was silly. Yeah. That was their fortress. Now it's not. Mm. They never lost it. Yeah, their best team back. They'll be very, very tough to beat by anybody. Mm. Hey, uh, Leon Cameron's going to join us next. GWS playing nice football, oh, yes. by the way. Ooh. They take on Essendon today in Sydney. We look forward to that for Hard Yakker, of course. A new breed of legends. Work hard, play hard. Hard yakka, a history of hard. And for McDonald's and Ream Hot Water, Triple M Rocks Footy. Rocks Footy. We are assembled, ready for GWS and Essendon today. Very, very big game for both clubs, of course, trying to get themselves into the top eight. And Leon Cameron is the coach of GWS. He's been good enough to jump on the phone and join us today. Leon, welcome to you. Thanks, James. How are you? Good luck. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. But much more importantly is how you are. Are you you getting the band back together? Massive injury attached to the Giants earlier in the season. Are you starting to feel like you can get your best 22 somewhere near it? I would like to say yes. um, But, um, yeah, we've still got a few. I mean, we've probably got 11 or 12 sitting out there this weekend, which is not great. But um, look what it does do, though, James. It's been giving... uh, Great opportunity to a number of players that uh, have either been on our list for a couple of years and haven't been able to crack it, or some young lads that have just come in. So um, and they and they're playing some pretty good footy. Bakes, uh, Jesse Hogan, obviously in for one, out for how long now? And you're right, you've had no luck whatsoever. But uh, is it lengthy? 
No, nah, no, nah, it's not. It's probably a bit, whether we're overdoing it or not, Duck, uh, he just got tight in his calf uh, yesterday um, after the captain's run. And, um, yeah, clearly, you know, he's had some challenges and we've sort of just uh, taken that option of not playing him. Um, we think he's probably going to be right for next week, but uh, we'll probably know more on Tuesday, Wednesday, but it's not long term. Hey, just getting back to what you were saying before about established players being out, so you've been able to have a look at, uh, through you know, by default, some of the younger talent. Who's jumped off the the page for you who, who in this first half of this year have you gone or first part of this year gone you know what he's had opportunity and he's shown us more than I maybe thought he was going to at this stage yeah look it's always uh, interesting sort of you know because we're only seven games in and um, and clearly the grind starts now when um, you know week in week out you've got to step up and perform so uh, look I think the the Isaac Cumming and, and Lockie Ash have been holding up that halfback mm, flank yeah. role really really well um, which you know uh, Isaac's been there for four years and, and Lockie's into his second year. I, I think Jack Buckley is probably an unheralded player. Uh, we've sort of shifted him around from wing to key position back. Um, he's uh, got a great attitude. He's playing some really good footy along with Connor Iden. Lockie keeps holding up that fullback role and he gets that opportunity. So I've probably talked about a number of backs. I mean, clearly some of our mids are starting to get going as well. And, you know, Hopper and Taranto and these guys. But, you know, they've been in the team for a long time now. Leon, the already incredible story of Shane Mumford throughout football has had a few extra chapters added to it this year already. He's been obviously the the key, at least according to him, the reason you've actually <laughs> helped turn this season around. How much is he reminding you, his teammates, of his own impact in that uh, in that role? And if you are to be serious about it, how important is he to you right now? Yeah, look, he is. He's um, he's one of those great characters. I mean, clearly, um, you know, football can sometimes be very you know, straight up and down. and um, But Shane's a great character. He's been fantastic for our footy club for a long time. I mean, to be totally honest, Damo, did I think he'd be playing this much footy in the early part of the year? I, I didn't think that would happen. Um, and we were prepared just to come in and play a role here and there as well as ruck coach. But um, Bruce has obviously clearly gone down. Flynn and Briggs are working through their craft, um, you know, quite nicely. Um, and they'll continue to play some games in this front half of the year as well. Um But Mummy sort of, as we know, he's only probably got the capabilities of two or three games in a row and then he needs that 12 or 13 days off to play again. And I know that sounds probably soft, but it's not. I mean, he's been through the the ringer for a long, long time and his knees and back does play up. And so we backed him up again today, but he's been awesome. He's, I can't deny what he's done. And am I a bit surprised by what he's done on the field in his three games? I'd, I'd have to say yes. Uh, Leon, Billy here, mate. I tell you what, the Ford line's functioning beautifully at the minute. Must have a good coach there. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> Come on. Out, yeah, out, of the, uh, <laughs> out of the Geelong crop, uh, Billy. Look, yeah, look, I think um, last weekend it probably um, probably functioned its best. Yeah. Um, we probably got enough ball inside 50, and we didn't have multiple goal. We've been struggling with multiple goal kickers, but last week we had Hogan and Himmelberg and Green and um, a number of other players hit the scoreboard. But, um, yeah, it's still a work in progress because clearly it's a new forward line compared to for the years that we've had in the past. Of course, Stevie J is the uh, forward no, line. Oh, no, that that. Yeah. Oh, that, yeah. I don't know if Leon picked that up. Oh, no, no, no. Pick it up. <laughs> hey, Leon, some good news during the week. Extended Toby Green's contract by two years. Mm. And we saw at Melbourne, Christian Petrarca sign a seven-year deal. We're hearing something similar along the lines with Josh Kelly. Where's that at? Mm. Yeah, look, he's, uh, I mean, Josh is clearly, everyone knows about that, the, the trigger in his contract. And, um, you know, I thought, um, I thought his last month, like his last month has been terrific. He's played wing inside, he's played high half forward and he's hit the scoreboard at really important times. I actually think his last month has been his best month for a yep. long time. So, um, but in terms of his contract, it's progressing really well. I'm confident that, um, you know, that'll get done on, on the Toby one. I mean, it's just great news. I mean, clearly he's a you know super player for us, and to have him commit to long term to his 33, you'll probably get to 33 and want another six year deal. But uh, I don't know <laughs> if that'll happen. But he's just it is a great endorsement, not only on him but also the footy club. Hey, on him, Leon. My understanding is he has taken to the captaincy role like the proverbial duck to water. He's been a beauty, and the players have taken to him being a leader. Mm. Yeah, look, he has, and. Uh, and I think it's it's really good. I mean, the more leaders you can have in your footy club, the better off. And um, I mean, Toby's he doesn't talk a great deal in terms of um, some captains will speak a lot and give instructions. He's the opposite. He'll he'll let his actions do the talking. But when he does 
have a crack or talk about something that's really important on his mind, he will bring it up. But yeah, he's 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 gelled into it really really nicely. Really proud of him um, because he's come a long way and he's and he's nine years at our footy club and um, yeah, it's just a great probably lesson learned that it uh, doesn't matter where you are and you've got leadership aspirations like he has, um, you can get there. In some ways, it, it can sharpen your focus, and that what it, that's what it looks like to me from afar. Um, we're not in the, inside yeah. the four walls. but And also, just maybe quelled a little bit of that aggression that we know that he loves to bring also. Yeah, and I think over the years, he's probably, clearly when he crosses that white line, there's that white line fever, and he, he likes to you know go to the nth degree in terms of playing. He wants to win every game, every contest. So... And you're probably right. I think every year, I mean, last year, I thought he was pretty, really well restrained in some areas where he might have got frustrated. But I think it's been building into a really good blend. And clearly, when you have that captain sitting over your head, um, it does make sure you're on, on notice because you want to lead in the right manner. But um, yeah, we couldn't be more happier with him. Leon, someone who was put through the the ringer physically last year with a very rare condition, Sam Taylor. What he's doing this year is quite incredible, given what he's been through. Yeah, it is, uh, Damo. Well, he... Um, what happened to him? I think it was round four, Collingwood last year. We finished, we had a really good win and uh, woke up the next day and he um, he got a nasty infection from a cut. I think it was from his toe mm-hmm. that uh, clearly got inside into his body, into his hip and his pelvis region. And then um, it just basically, uh, you know, stopped him like a, you know, he's hit like a truck and uh, he, uh, he was in hospital for about two or three weeks, couldn't move. His back was clearly affected from it and all the things that you know make you function was you know sh- you know shut him down so yeah. he missed the entire year i think probably something i i, mean, I can't speak on behalf of uh, michael hurley at essen and probably something similar maybe have happened and it's really sad because you want your players out there and your best players out there but uh, in terms of his rehab first class got it right had a great a free season and clearly he's one of our key players down in our back end. Bakes, Callum Ward uh, breaks the club record today, taking over from Jeremy Cameron. But uh, tell us a little bit about uh, where he's... I, I still think he's he's very underrated. We know re- in recent times he's missed a fair bit of footy. Prior to that, he put a, a, a big string together. But he's a he's a great player. Yeah, he is. He is. He's, um, he's no fuss. He's, uh, he's your man's man. He just rocks up, trains hard, cracks in. Uh, very popular amongst the boys. I mean, clearly he was a captain with Phil for seven years and a great choice to the club uh, when it started up. A reluctant captain, but turned into a fantastic captain with Phil. Um, and look, he, he, he probably, the two years that he was sort of out with his knee, Rico, and then he hurt his knee a couple of times as well. He, the doubt sets in and does it is it catching up to you? And he had a really good pre-season, probably just couldn't get into the midfield and then the openings came up and then... Um, all of a sudden, he's playing some great footy. He just reminds you of what some of these players that you know push thirty are capable of doing. It's a wonderful story. It's a great record he can break. But as he said yesterday, and he's when he caught up with the media, he said it's probably going to get broken pretty quickly because some of these guys are going to catch him. But yeah, he's a great story for us. Did you watch Jezza last night? Reluctantly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was good, Je- uh, Leon. Billy, what are you? You're trying to. You're trying to bait, bait me, are you? No, no, <laughs> not is. at all, mate. Yeah. But you, on, you Bill. taught him everything, and uh, you know he thanks you for it all. But just yes. good to see him out there running around, isn't it? Oh, look, no doubt he played well. It was a cracking game that first half. Those two sides, we got Richmond, and you know next week. But um, yeah, sole focus on Essendon. But clearly, he played some good footy, and uh, you know they picked up a pretty good recruit there. Hey, Leon, well done uh, on a personal note for me. You've won three of the last four. When you look at GWS's injury list, Bernard, it is unbelievable who Leon can't put into his side. I'm talking about the straight backer, Phil Davis, uh, Cornelio, Matt DeBoer is so important to them, Nick Haynes, Adam Kelly, Sam Reid. It's uh, it's an extensive list, and yet you've still got this side rolling along nicely. Good luck today. Massive game against the Bombers. Good on you, guys. Cheers. Leon Leon Cameron is a beauty, and we thank him for joining us. So one triple three five. Now, fat. I'm just We're giving up. you an extended oh, no. run at the quiz. No. Who's Adam Kelly? It was a debacle last week, the quiz. Kennedy. Kennedy. Oh, Kennedy. Kennedy. He said Kennedy. Kennedy I think idiot. he said Adam Kelly. But anyway. <laughs> now, thank Seriously. God for that. The people have asked. <laughs> yeah, no, well, and we will build time. and they will come. <laughs> So one triple three five three. <laughs> yes, really. do it properly, fat. Is it on next? Otherwise, Taylor Made may well say, you know what? We're just ripping this prize yeah, out yeah. of this bloody thing. Fair so enough. Too. One triple three five three. Ring us now to get involved oh, no. in the quiz on a Saturday afternoon for Hard Yak and New Bring the Legends. Christmas. Oh, the Guns and Ream Hot Water Triple M Rocks Footy. 
Brownless. No, so, Fat, we brought it forward because last week was so bad it ended after four questions. It did. The first question <laughs> took about eight minutes to answer. And that's not my fault. No, it is your fault. That's old enough. You've got to assemble hey. a proper set of questions. All right. Uh, All right. A dozen TP5 golf balls. Bernard, you've got some yes, in front of you there. Nice. The very best in yes. the business yep. from TaylorMade. And they've got the brand new TP5 just been released. And, of course, the TaylorMade Spider FCG. Part of that is absolutely yes. superb. Rory among the tour players that use that. All right. So, and? Fat. Get it right. And the putting green, Jim. You can roll out in the lounge room and just go whackety whack. Oh, right. So, Bill. <laughs> Thank you very people much. People answer. You say, g'day, right. uh, Smithy, out there in Deer Park. It's the sad day, and then I'll let her say. Don't good say thing. hello, because we don't care yeah, about generally that. Generally, read the questions, not the answers first as yeah, well. That's, that's <laughs> probably just an improvement from last What's week. What's wrong with you? You had Botox or something, have you? What do you mean? You're very tight. <laughs> Around the eyes. Have a look at him. What do you what, below, above, or something? He slept or something's going on. Joel, oh, slept beautifully. Oh, Joel in Doncaster. <laughs> Barbecue with the uh, girlfriend today, Billy. Oh, oh that's nice. nice. What, you, uh, what do you got on the uh, tray? Not sure. The uh, uh, friends are cooking it up for us, so hopefully it's lovely. Oh, I hope it's not like my mates. My, their barbies are allergic to steak. They just yeah. put snags and yeah, cheap. burgers on them. Oh, cheap. Not yeah, barbie. cheap. Yeah, it's not probably a some nice steak. And probably Take some around you and just eat it yourself. Don't give it out to anyone. <laughs> Here we go, Joel. Question number one now, thanks to Taylor Maid. Collingwood take on North Melbourne this afternoon. Which two players were traded from Collingwood to North Melbourne in the most recent off-season? It's a long question. Uh, we've got Stevenson. Yeah, Jaden. Um, Boss of the Luggy, or that guy. Yeah, oh, give him that. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very well nice. Our two. Boss of the Luggy. Well done. Well done, Joel. <laughs> Very nice. Did Number two. for the storm? Boss of Wagyu. <laughs> Boss of Wagyu, he said. Number Boss two now. Wagyu. Barbecue. Duck will remember this. In 1991, pre- the pre-season competition was known as the What Cup. The... No, have I got a clue? Oh, no. Joel was good Joel. too. Well. Started well. Let's go to Matt now in WA. How's WA, Matt? Oh, sitting on the South Perth foreshore here, boys. South Perth. Oh. Oh, your Premier's going well. He's a good fella. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not too bad. No, he's not. <laughs> he's a... Jim's oh. man. Speaking about an elected official. Mm. Yes, Jim, but oh, yeah. he's here. Yeah. Well, geez, you'll change your tune, Jim. <laughs> had to stop you for, Jim. He's had an official letter. You <laughs> from some form of uh, <laughs> sanction. He's been sort of warned. Yeah, he's, he's been warned. Yes. Yeah. Where was that? He's on the foreshore somewhere. Yeah. South Perth. South Perth. Uh, nice. Fish and yeah. chips or something. Just. Uh, Oh. Uh, yeah, might drop a line in, see what I can catch. All right, then. Oh, okay. Good question. I thought you'd just in, order some. In 1991, the pre-season competition <laughs> was known as the what cup there, Matthew? Oh, I'll take a stab. I'm not too sure. I'm going to guess NAB. NAB cup? No. Oh, Earlier. Couple yeah. before. Earlier. Earlier. 91. Let's get a lucky. Tasty, very tasty. Uh, down there in beautiful Geelong West. Oh, wow. I'll be God. 25 down there today in Geelong West. Hello, Lockie. Just finished uh, watching the girlfriend play netball, Bill. Who does she play for? St. Joey's. Oh, Joey's a big, strong club. St. Joey's, St. Mary's this weekend, isn't it? It is, Bill. Battle, That's of, right. the, battle of the Catholics. Oh, it's on. Uh, lucky. 91, the pre-season competition was known as the what cup? Was it the Foster's Cup? Yeah, yes. it was. And that was a good old yeah, day. Can you, can you still buy Foster's? Yeah, yeah. but not in Australia. No, yes. <laughs> 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 Foster's Cup and they used to call you what? Foster's Droop. Anyway, oh. number three. <laughs> Get him. It's a lifeline, Lockie. Oh. Here we go. So you've got uh, Mother's Day Duck, you've got Nuffy <laughs> Bernie, and just Damo. Right, <laughs> Lockie. Mother's Day Duck. Who oh, were man. the first four players taken in the 2001 oh. Super Draft? Or well, you can answer it, Lockie, if you want. Um, and duck sheets. Duck sheets. <laughs> he's, he's taking a you screenshot gotta, of the answers. You got to take call him Mother's well, Day I Duck. I, I always get. I always I get. Think I think I know the first three, but I don't know if I know the fourth. So I might see what Duck thinks, and then. Uh, okay. But you got to say, well, uh, and, and uh, Duck will miraculously well, you, get the fourth one. I'll tell one. you, it's it's uh, well, it's a uh, Hodge. Yeah, we know that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's forgotten. Hodge, Hodge Ball. Hodge Ball. Yeah. 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 Judd. Yeah. Now. And you know oh. who the other one was? Because he spent a little bit of time at North Melbourne, oh. actually. He ended up coming to North Melbourne yeah. for a little while. I reckon it was Polak. 
Polak. I've oh, never heard of oh, him. Polak. 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 You did get Polak. Polak. Right. Right. I, like, I like it, Duck. I'll go with you. Yep. Oh, oh, amazing, now, Duck. He incredible, was, Duck. He got the right. train. He, 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 he didn't go to North, though, Duck. That was his brother who went to North. That's his brother. It doesn't matter. He got it right. Of course, he got it right, Jim. He saw the answer. Took a photo of the answer. Not saw it. Actually, photographed it. Didn't even know him. Well done, Lucky. Got, got the wrong bloke. We got the answer right. <laughs> Question four. Amazing. Funny oh. that, Duck. Duck, no more cheating, please. Oh, I, I, Troy you, Pollack played for North, didn't he? Hey, Troy. It's, yeah. it's, it's, I, I knew it was what a What is Graham doing nowadays? Because he did. Know. He ran it. Yeah, he got like, hit by a tram. Yeah. 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 The Brisbane Lions have had two games with venue <laughs> changes so far in 2021. Which two clubs have they scheduled against? Or even were they scheduled against? <laughs> <laughs> you want that in English? <laughs> yeah. Um, I think the first one was, or one of them was Frio, maybe, and then, um, I don't know, maybe Gold Coast? No, bad luck, Lockie. You had to go. Oh, we're going out to Wangaratta. Nice, yeah, nice spot there at Wang. Stevie J J from Wang, isn't he, Matt? Yes, he is, Bill. Just sitting on the mower. (laughs) He's on the mower. Is it yeah, working? Mate, yeah. Is it actually, or you just sit on it, do you? can't hear it. <laughs> no, I just have it. Get in the garage and just sit on the mower. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I hope it's a ride on. Now, Matty, you tell these people here, there's Wangaratta Rovers and there's Wangaratta oh, who hate each other. Oh, say this God. every day, yeah, Bill. <laughs> and it's split <laughs> by a lane. Yeah, they played last week or the week before. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, two Matt? weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Who won? Uh, the Rovers. Yeah, thought so. The Magpies and the Rovers. By lane, Bill. Uh, by lane, yeah, back no, lane. Yeah, is that all, Bill? Just a yeah. lane. Just a wall. Righto, here we go, uh, Matty. <laughs> Which Bri- oh, What were we up to? Oh, <laughs> oh my Bri- God. The Brisbane Bri- Lions Bri- have had two games with venue changes so far in 2021. Which two clubs were they scheduled to play against? Uh, one would be Fremantle. Oh, maybe. And, maybe not. And... Tick, tick. Oh, Bill, this is starting to fall away again. Come on, well, already. It's that's Bill's going fault. Eight Clue. Bill's, oh, let's go to oh, Frankston. Beautiful down there. The VFL side's going well. Uh, John. Really? Just on the way to umpire some footy this afternoon. Oh, good on you, Johnny. John. Who are you umpiring? What game? Uh, South Yarra and Endeavour Hill. South Yarra in your competition, are they? Yeah, just southeast. Uh, South Yarra in the Frankston competition. That'd be yeah. two different. Supporter groups, I reckon. <laughs> the what are you saying, Bill? <laughs> you work at it. They're playing Endeavour Hills. For... What? No, they're not playing against Frankston. They're playing Endeavour Hills. He's, he's from Frankston. Listen Frankston. to what John Frankston. says. He's from Frankston. But he, uh, South Yarra are in the comp and so are Frankston. No, he just no, said Endeavour, Endeavour Hills, Hills on the Frankston. other team, you idiot. What did you say, he's, John? He's from Frankston. It's in the Southern Footy League, Billy. I'll say it real slow because you're from Geelong. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> There it is. But anyway, right over. <laughs> Move on, Bill. Just give up on it, Bill. Yeah, the Lions are playing two games and they've changed bloody venues, okay? <laughs> Which two clubs were they scheduled to play against? Uh, can I have a hint? No. Nah. All right. All right, one Frio, is... Man. I'll give you one, Frio. Yeah, we know it's Frio. I'm going to oh. Long, the other one. Oh, no. What's no. happened to gonna... your quiz? We're going to have to take a break. No, we're not. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, quiz, we're we have three to... segments while he's going. We've we're done three. Four. four questions and we're going to a break. In your side again. Never call us again. Never, Toby. ever again, Toby. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, Jim. Uh, now, come on. Get oh, your, nah. get your quiz is. moving. Sad day, a rub quiz. Let's reset. We're up to question four. four. Oh, and we've reset. got uh, Tom in Bentley. Just uh, got home, boys. It's just taking the dog for a swim at the beach. Oh, lovely. What Last kind night. of uh, dog we got? Uh, Border a collie. <laughs> oh, lovely. But enough of the questions. Some pace. It's building rep- rep- rapport. rapport. Oh, no, no, never jump <laughs> in. The Brisbane oh. Lions have had two games. Are we still on this question? Yeah, we are. Just give them this one, Bill. Brisbane Lions have had two games with venue changes so far. Yeah, what yeah. are the two clubs? So it's Fremantle and Col. Was it North Melbourne? North oh. <laughs> Bill. No, not my dog. Oh, the bird. Give Trent. Give Trent. him another Terrible quiz. name, it's a Trent. Tough question, though. Hello, Trent. Uh, just drive into work, please. Oh, good. I'm not going to ask. So, <laughs> just, it's, it's Fremantle and Collingwood. Collingwood. Who? Collingwood. Yeah, yeah. Trenty boy. Oh, Trenty. Lifeline number five. Get around 
Now, have a listen to this. Uh, Mother's Day duck is out. <laughs> In chips. the 2020 grand final, name four of the five players that received votes for the Norm Smith medal. It was Geelong and Richmond. I voted. Oh, oh Damien voted. <laughs> Let me try and remember it, though. Yeah, I'll go with Damo then. Don't get confused with Lee Matthews' votes. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes that's that right, count? Damien. So, four of the five well, players. It was Dusty Short. Jaden. Yes. And then I put Edwards in as the third one. Did you? I did. And you can go with Lethal's. Oh, dumb. Because that got in there, didn't oh, it? Oh, broad. Uh, no. I don't think he would have had enough. No. I didn't. Even, was it just who That's polled, just, or had uh, to be no, the top? four of the five players who polled? Yeah. yeah, and I actually gave a lot of consideration to Mitchie Duncan. I know he got some votes, so that'll 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 be the four I present to you. Bill. You reckon? Yeah, well, well, I didn't vote for Mitchie, but I know he got a vote at Trent least. Grant from Vermont. Yeah, uh, that wasn't so convincing, but we'll go with it. Oh. Yes, well Let's done. See, who was Dusty it? Martin, Jaden Short, and Shane Broad. Edwards, Mitch Duncan, Broad. Nathan Broad. Oh, Broad, Broad, you could have put him in. Yeah, of course, yeah, could have put him in. <clears throat> right up, Broadie. We spoke to Broadie. We did good fellow too. He, could, he spoke very well, actually, last week. Yep. Didn't we? Were you right. listening well? I was doing it with you, Bill. Keep it yeah, moving, right. Bill. <laughs> which? <laughs> which <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you don't listen a lot, well, so I'm just wondering yeah. if you're listening. Oh, it was a test, was it? Which Gold Coast Suns player leads the AFL in tackles so far in 2021 now? Trent? Uh, Hugh Greenwood. Well oh, done. Well, that's nice. a good one. Trent. Yeah, well, he's been, he has on been the game. enormous. Oh, two huge. Years, yeah. Number seven now. Which two players have won Richmond's best and fairest the most times in club history? Uh, Trent? Good question, Bill. Good question, Bill. There you go, um, Trent. Three. Would Dusty be one of them? No, mate. Sorry. Dusty's only won. He's only won a couple. Oh, I only a couple. Duck's I waiting in. No. Yeah. How many did you win, Duck? He's won two. How many you won, Duck? Very different system at North, but four. <laughs> oh, especially oh. when the coach is Brody all Walling's had three. Duck, 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 duck. You win it this year. <laughs> um, Jake and Northcote. <laughs> go, Jakey. Uh, just uh, been watching the golf, Bill. Replay. Oh, who won? Uh, no, I was still going only halfway through. It's Saturday, 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 Bill. I thought he <laughs> might have won again. <laughs> <laughs> and you might have been surprised, Jake, that he won again. <laughs> Which two players have won Richmond's best and fairest five times each? Go back a bit. Yeah, uh, yeah we'll go back. KB be one? Yes. Who? KB's got to be one. Yes. Kevin, hungry? Yes. And? and mm. Go back a bit. Uh, go for time. Uh, Royce Hart? Royce Hart, no. Good, good bad guess. I guess so. No Royce. Uh, let's go to Steve in Leicesterfield. Nice out there. That's where you go out and buy your puppies out at Leicesterfield. G'day, Steve. <laughs> yeah, just finished work, Bill. Good boy. Just think, uh, just, just with this one, Bill, it's, it's people, just isn't it? think of who the, maybe the award. How, how would you say where you live, Stephen? Yeah, not like Lester Ellis, Bill. Lister. Listerfield. <laughs> Even I know that, Bill. I don't come you, from Melbourne. You've never been out that way. Never have. No, you've you been wouldn't have been. Ringwood. He's been to Ringwood. Been to Ringwood. Yeah. Juan Turner. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> five times club best and fairest is Kevin Bartlett and who else at Richmond? And it's... Duck, uh, also, uh, this name, good. Named after maybe... Oh, thanks, Duck. Five. I reckon he was the logo of the footy show. Oh, I love it. That'd be Captain Blood, boy. Yeah. Yeah. How good. Yes. He was a, uh, that was him, wasn't it? Oh yeah, yeah. A logo yeah, of the footy big, show. No big, big open hand, wasn't it, in that shot? Yeah, thanks, Damon. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Raise that. Yeah, it's good. Uh, <laughs> big open hand, yeah. <laughs> Lifeline. Get around him. Which question are we up to? Eight. Jim. All right, come on. Now you only got oh, you only got Burr. you only got Nuffy Burr. Oh yes. <laughs> in two thousand and six, the entire top four at the end of the season was made up of non-Victorian clubs. Which teams were they there, uh, Steve, from Listerfield or Burnie? Uh, in uh, we got Nuffy Burn there. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> well, Adelaide was one because I was there. Were they? I think West Coast pipped us they, for top spot. Yeah, West Coast, might be Adelaide, right. yeah, right. Sydney. Oh, I don't know if I had a real good year. And I, I reckon Frio. No. I reckon Frio were good that year, yeah. Frio. 2006, yeah. All right. So they're the four. Who do you think, Steve? Ruby Sky. Uh, I'll run with Burn. Mm. Well done, yes. Burn. Yes. What What's about the prelim that, that the year to West end, Coast? End of the season, West Coast, Adelaide, Frio. Mm. What about Bill shaking Sydney off? We lost to West Coast. They played the grand final, Sydney. 
Yeah, yeah, West Coast and Sydney, Sydney played yeah. in the grand yeah. final. Bill's giving up yeah. Sydney. Nah. Nah. Yeah, but, nah. Uh, miles off Tim, Sydney. Tim, you've got to understand the quiz. I'm just oh, you. craft. Yeah, craft. craft. Was okay. that quiz craft, was it? And in between all that, he just checked if he had Ruby Sky in the second <laughs> leg of the early quad. <laughs> hey, how did Mr. Well, Wong go? i daughter, Ruby, so surely I'll put that in. Omen. Omen. Oh, Number nine, Lockie Neal won the 2020 Brownlow medal with 31 votes. Won it easy. Who polled second? Who polled in second? Oh, who no. came second? Who was in second place? Who was runner-up? <laughs> Badly written question. What is wrong with him? Have I got Ruby? Oh, <laughs> Count. Oh. Um, oh, no. We'll go, Dusty. Stevie. Oh, oh no. I didn't say Dusty. Let's go to Michael no. in Geelong. Hello, Michael. Yep. Just uh, in between open homes, Billy. Oh, oh. who are you working for? Uh, Gartland Property, mate, in Little Mallop Street. Oh, nice. Jeez. Tough work down there. No, yeah. mate. Selling home. <laughs> Jim, <laughs> give us a spill They've on the house. gone through the roof, haven't they? <laughs> Michael? It is, mate. It it's is. exploded, yeah. Jim. Oh, yeah. The whole <laughs> region. Especially Newtown. Poor bastards. Oh, Newtown. Town. Jim, Jim. Stop Shut talking, up. Jim. You shouldn't be saying Tough that, Jim. Mark, oh, says you from Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> Hicken, mate. Adelaide <laughs> from the York Peninsula. Yeah, oh, York yeah. Peninsula, beautiful. Oh, right. We should get over there. Adelaide's a beautiful Elizabeth. city. I bought great. a couple of houses. <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh, 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 that was a mistake. Oh, <laughs> it's Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Not Elizabeth. Ponds. Elizabeth is it? Warren Ponds is <laughs> flying, Jim. <laughs> flying. Let a tornado go through there oh, yeah, and improve the job. Did a thousand dollars worth of improvements. <laughs> cleaned it up. You want to, cleaned it up. To go past Elizabeth and go to Smithfield. No, oh, yeah, better right. Awesome. Well, you'd know those areas. Yeah. I played a trial yeah. game against yeah. Smithfield one day. Oh, Doing boy. two blocks of has got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> trial game. Yeah, oh, no, yeah. thanks for all that. Yeah. Well, come on, <laughs> oh, get on. Do we it. go to Adelaide? Yeah. Oh, of course oh, we do. Oh, they beautiful love us over there in Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Michael. <laughs> Um, Lockie Neal won with 31 votes. Who was second, runner-up? That'd be Travis Boat. Yeah. 20, oh, very 21 good votes. Yeah, he won by 10 votes, Lockie Neal. Yep. Here we are Seven for the tailor-made putter oh, yes. and the balls. The spider FCG and the brand new TP5, a oh, dozen yeah. of them. And the putting green. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Roll Come that on. out in Carpet. Newtown. Very <laughs> pricey around that area. Three double two oh. Now, which company's <laughs> logo appears in the centre circle for the 2021 20, yes. AFL season? You watch it's every Toyota. bounce? What do you say? He thinks what was it me? Toyota. Toyota? No. Oh, no. That's, that's on the wing. wing. Oh. That's on the wing. Oh. Righto. It wasn't a bad guess. Hey, good Justin. Guess. Not really. You're just in time, <laughs> I reckon. Oh, good one, Bill. Oh. Just oh. having a ham sandwich, Bill. <laughs> what, do you just have it on your own or you got pickles? <laughs> <laughs> put your matters back in fat. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I like you can't just have ham on its own. Hey, bit of pepper, pepper, butter, pepper with cheese. Oh, Justin, bit of cheese, bit of mayo, beautiful. You well, go. you just said ham. You could have added that, Justin. <laughs> Justin, which company logo appears in the centre circle in this this year's year? <laughs> Is it Paul <laughs> Fat? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Well done, Justin. Yes. Done a Bradbury. Oh, yeah. From nowhere. Come in, bang. Doesn't and he's won TP5, all the... brand yep. new golf balls from Taylor Made, the best, of course, and the Spider FCG putter and also the putting green. Putting green. Yeah, the putting... Guess what happened when Safeway burnt down, Jim? What? And in the coals. Oh, 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 what what about that? the question? This just, year's year. Just on that I think real that. crap yeah. note. <laughs> we get into a break. Bernard brings oh, a blast yes. from the past to the show next. Oh, yes. Of course, uh, pertinent to the big showdown yep. round that's coming up in Adelaide shortly. For Hard Yak and McDonald's and Ream Hot Water, Triple M Rocks Footy. Oh, here we go, boys. On, showdown man. 49 tonight. Uh, Adelaide versus Port Adelaide. 24 apiece, you know it is. Like Even it. after 48 Don't games. And a man that, uh, wow, well, blast from the past today, is a man that's played 208 games across three clubs. Three showdown medals, I can you believe, believe? That. And that's uh, my good mate, Sauce Jacobs, a fellow York Peninsula boy too. Welcome to the rub. Hello, Bernie. Thanks for the nice intro there, mate. Yeah, nice, wasn't it? Now, three medals. Do you have a favourite? Do you have a favourite showdown? Uh, yeah, mate. Probably the Phil Walsh one uh, was obviously the tribute game after we came back from West Coast. We got done over there, and we came back, and um, we were up by I think it was about six goals at three quarter time, and we only ended up holding on by three points. So. Um, it was a good game. Tomo just picked me for the medal, which would have been my fourth. Oh. But, um, <laughs> you should have won a couple more, you reckon? 
Yeah, yeah, maybe. I reckon I got probably gypped a couple, but uh, oh, okay. that, that, that's probably my favourite one. You're sounding like duck now. Yeah, talk us through the rivalry <laughs> over there because people over in Victoria they don't sort of get it. It's uh, it's it's on, isn't it? Yeah, it's one of those ones where it's it's hard to, I guess, explain. You know, to others, I guess, what it means to both clubs. Obviously, Port love pumping up their history. Um, Crows, we've sort of been in front of them most of the time. Unfortunately, the ledge is close, but um, you know, I think Jakovic and Carey. Think oh. Barrett, Beverage, those sort of. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, like it. It's a Spanish <laughs> chip. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Hey, it, they can get quite physical too. Is there any special physical moments you can remember? I've got a couple. Yeah, there's a few. Um, I remember Bickley got Wakeland. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six, six weeks. weeks. Oh, yeah. Six, yeah, six weeks he, he put him out. And then obviously Brogan, um, there was one that was sort of like a bloodbath, bit of a showdown. And Mm. It was actually, I think he maybe split uh, Luke Jericho's spleen or something like that. He did. Um, but then our trainer come in, and I don't know if Brogan put him down as well, but he ended up getting stretched off as well, <laughs> Vinny Del Bono. So. This is our trainer, our trainer. got yeah, carried what? off by other trainers. <laughs> no. <laughs> we watched the footage, and he's, got, he's wearing his cap, and his, a leg brushed the cap. The, yep. t- the cap of his hat, and, he, and went well, he went down like he'd been shot. Oh, <laughs> this is, this is so, I mean, Sauce, this is so big that this spilled into off the ground. Yeah. I mean, this oh, went to the is. this went to the Ramsgate yeah. uh, Hotel, yes, which is uh, yes. now famous. Were, were you actually there when, that day? He started it. Uh, it was it was infamous that one. The uh, Rue tries to sort of separate himself from that, but oh, obviously mm. he was at the heart of it. Him and Josh Carr. So um, unfortunately, Josh Carr had a ten and zip record in the showdown. So. Um, he got the last laugh, unfortunately. It's pretty hard to separate yourself from that story when you're the one punching Josh Carr's head. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Very well, true. Now, now, these medals, uh, Big Sausage, yes, three. Uh, three of them, of course, and that is magnificent. Wow. Who were you taking to task? I'm, I'm trying to think of the Ruckman back in those days because they had some great Ruckman, Port mm, Adelaide, Dokes. Mattress Primus. Down. And then we walked into, uh, well, Dean Brogan Lord. and, Ma- and uh, Brendan Laid. Yes. Who, who were the opponents for you? Downs, bro. I've got- I got Brogues. I got Brogues early. Um, oh, it was, certainly wasn't on him. Um, but it was Matty Lobie and and Paddy Ryder, which is one which Paddy he Ryder. actually picked me for the 2017 All Australian, and I, I got him in the showdown. I still couldn't get it, so that's uh, that's still a bit of a sore point. Hey, what's on today, Sauce? Playing a bit of footy for our Drossen on the York Peninsula now. Oh, still I hear playing. He's still playing, coaching, still playing. coaching too. And where do you play? Uh, so I'm, yeah, I'm back here in the country on your peninsula, um, just just holding off the team meeting so I can chat to you boys. Oh. But, <laughs> who uh, you got today? Give us a rundown. Uh, uh, Drossen playing who? Uh, uh, Drossen versus Wallaroo, sure. and then unfortunately tough. Wallaroo. We, I played for Wallaroo. Yeah, they're tough. Wallaroo. Yeah. We're talking to source. I mean, home, home, of, home of Adam Goods. Wallaroo. This is where he oh, first yeah. started. Ooh, but yeah. um, where the are Drossen kangaroos, and unfortunately oh, no. we've, st- we've started the year about as well as North Melbourne have. So. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can fuck that trend today. I got confused. Uh, I never <laughs> played at Wallaroo. No, my, you didn't. Uh, my dad lived there for a little while. Oh, you see. That stayed his welcome. Got oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> kicked out of, got kicked out of Wallaroo. Got kicked out of Wallaroo, yeah. Wow, a tough spot to be to. Then speaking of showdowns, you've you got Daniel Motlop playing for Ardrossan today. Where did that come about? Yeah, so, yeah, one of my mates played with him a little bit, uh, played with him a few years ago. And um, we're, we're only a small town. We... we we try and battle against the bigger town. So we've got him in for a game. I think he's going to play a few more. And um, Obviously, I played a lot of showdown footy against him. I think he might have even, talking about showdown, he might have even eclipsed you in one showdown. Yeah, already, no though. need Ooh. to bring that up. But he did get me <laughs> off ball. I wasn't looking, Bill. Got me. But yep. the tough got back on. And no, I wouldn't. actually won the medal that day. So thanks for bringing that up, Sauce. Oh. No, that's all right. <laughs> Listen to these two. <laughs> into that one, but... <laughs> Hey, Sam, you jammed a lot in. You you started uh, way back in in 2007 at at Carlton, then went to uh, Adelaide and then finished off with GWS. But uh, you certainly saw a lot, didn't you, during the uh, the 14 years in the game? Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, I think, you know, I'm a small town country boy from over here and the best thing for me was to get drafted to Carlton to go over and experience a big club. And, you know, I was fortunate enough to debut in front of 87,000 people. And, you know, at least those experiences are really worthwhile, which you sort of don't get them anywhere else around Australia. So um, to experience that and then, play at home in front of my friends and family. And then um, for me, it was just as much of the experience you got to live in Sydney, um, you know, learn a, learn a new city, new team, um, you know, just to keep educating myself as one day I want to stay in footy. So, um, yeah, it's good learning to go up to Sydney. Sauce, did you see Bernard win a contested ball in all the footy yeah. you played with him? <laughs> yeah, come on. I wish I, I wish I could get you this clip of him. He ran... Jason Paul Pleasure took this outstanding mark. Bernie's was... run back with the flight. Oh, oh no. And he's just curled up in a little ball and just completely pulled out of the contest. I <laughs> uh, didn't want to bar it. I think that's about as close as he got.
I saw. So there's a lot of you know traffic coming. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of traffic coming. <laughs> you know what I did? We're half man. pulling out in the contest. I've corked Porps and he had to go off. Oh, no. Hey, I'm <laughs> in he had no, that lower he, back issue. Oh, yes. was oh, way, Jim, which he had to Jim, work I through. didn't mean to go there, Jim. Yeah. No. Hey, good luck today, Sauce, with our Drossen. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, thanks very much, boys. Have a good call. And we love you coming on, mate. Three <laughs> showdown medals, and it is one of the great rivalries in our game. So uh, thanks for that. And he should have got four, Jim, you said. Five. Oh, five. Really? <laughs> no, no doubt about it. <laughs> I can't uh, believe he won three. We've got uh, Zach Tui to join us shortly, Fat, so you can straighten up and uh, get that fine footballer oh, interviewed in just a second. Mm, he's Irish. <laughs> What's that mean? Tune of 63 points. Yes, indeed, Howie. 63 points. 13 goals to two after half time, if you don't mind. The Cats are on fire. And a man who was very, very good, and we love him on Triple M. He loves Triple M. He had 26 disposals last night. Star. 11 pressure acts. Uh, Zach Tui, welcome to the rub, and well done. And just nice to finally beat Richmond, mate. Yeah, good day, guys. Nice to talk to you. Um, yeah, it was, look, they're clearly a quality opposition. To beat anybody in the game uh, these days is an achievement, but to beat uh, a team of their calibre is really satisfying. What did you do going into the game? Because um, there's been a bit of talk of changing the game plan and uh, quickening up the game plan. What did you actually talk about? Uh, not that specifically. I mean, in many ways, it's not a mystery how to beat Richmond. It's just... It's just very hard to do. Um, and it, it obviously starts around the ball as it does against most opposition. And, and if you can get it going your way and if you can be sort of strong in the in the contest, um, you give yourself a chance. It's just they're running waves. and It can be really hard to stop if they get it out of that congestion first. And I thought our mids were exceptional in that, in that part of the ground. Um, and they really set us up. And then it helps when your forwards kind of make the most of their opportunities. Zach, everyone wants to talk forwards. I'm going to go down to your end of the ground. I know you've pushed up onto the wing and every now and then you play forward. But Lockie Henderson, I, I almost reckon in career best. Yep. And I know yep. you probably played with him at Carlton. He showed a lot of talent. He had a year at 10 forward where he played well. He has played well as a defender. But he he's, he just does not get beaten now. Nah, he's a, he's a star. You're spot on. Um, there was a point there where he wasn't playing very regular um, at the top level. And I just thought we have probably the best... Uh, the best backup player in the league here. He was he he's just been such a an incredible leader um, when he wasn't getting selected and he's come in now and I agree with you. I think he's in career best form. He is just an absolute rock in defence and something that's underrated that I know you guys would appreciate uh, when you play it is his his voice. Um he, he's a bit of a general down back so we're very fortunate to have him playing the way he is at the minute. Well it's unlike Duck to talk about Ford so I'll talk about him. Uh the big three. 15 goals between them. Cameron got going with six. Rowan kicked five in his big milestone match. And Tommy just chipped in with four. Yeah, hard to stop them all. Um, yeah. And if they all get firing, it's it's carnage. Um, you know, we got uh, Jeremy Cameron in. I reckon if he gets his head down, he could have a good career, that kid. And <laughs> obviously, Gaz, Gaz, is, uh, Gaz was firing and Hawkey just does what he does. So, um, yeah, it's great for him to get the reward. We don't expect him to do that every single week. But like I said, it, it's... It's going to be hard for teams to stop all three of them um, any given week, which is a good position to be in for us. Zach, there's been good raps on Asaba Radigalina for, for some time, and we know that he's had injuries setback upon injury setback, but got in for the first time in 2021 last night. And Do, do you see him as being the, the main person when it comes to what you do in the, the ruck from here on in? No, I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, Stanley um, Reese has been a fantastic player, and he was excellent in the finals last year, and we kind of know what he can do. And, and you're right, Sav is this kind of untapped talent that long-term could be and will be, I'm sure, outstanding for us. Um, I'm not sure uh, what configuration the um, team will take going forward, but um, geez, he's exciting to play with. And, and when he gets it together, which he will, he's going to be a seriously impressive player. Hey, Zach, you talk about not being too specific in the build-up to the game, but you must have had a good look at Sydney and then had a good look at Melbourne and the way they were able to beat Richmond. They take the territory when it's there, take it. If you start going sideways mm. and backwards and take time with the footy, mm. Richmond set up and it's very, very hard to get past them. But when you after quarter time last night, it looked to me like the mantra was take the ground when it's there. Yeah, you don't want to give them a chance to tackle you because they will absolutely um, savage you. Um, and like I said, it, it's not really a mystery how to beat them. It's just so hard to do. They're such a well-drilled team. But if you can get it out of space and use it, then, um, you know, you, you can get around them. Um, and we kind of got our game going a bit 
as the game went on. Um, we didn't really change anything. We just, I think over the course of the last three or four weeks, you're starting to see more like what we were trying to do early in the year. It's not that we've changed anything. We've just kind of executed what we want to do um, a little bit better. And, and last night was a good example of that. Zach, there did seem to be a little bit more emotion for a couple of uh, individuals. Now, I, I know how Joel Selwood, he's one of my favourite players of all time. I know how he plays, but he play, he looked like he played a little bit angry. Mm. We know he went into the grand final with his injured uh, finger, I think it was, yep. Bill, last year. Gary Rowan had a quiet grand final. He was very emotional, kicking a, f- a few. Did you get the feeling that there were a few that – you know, really wanted to. I know it doesn't erase losing a granny, but really wanted to to make sure they put their best foot forward. Yeah, look, it's hard to say. Um, you know, Joel's obviously a pretty competitive person at the best of times. Um, you know, the club lost a pretty important character in Frank Costa during the week yeah. or, um, you know, in the build-up to this game. And uh, I know Joel um, was pretty keen to sort of do him proud. Um, and then, I mean, it was a milestone game for Gaz and you're playing the reigning Premier. So there's lots of reasons to be a little bit more emotionally invested than you might otherwise be. Um, but those two in particular, and to be honest, basically every teammate I had last night, I was just super proud of the way they played because, um, yeah, it is. it was a it was a massive game for us. Now, Zach, we've witnessed some nuffy behaviour no, no. uh, during this season, but none more than, what? well... Bill, yeah. what, do you, Bill, think, what uh, do you think about this? He was down in the race and he was in the rooms. He wanted to sing the song. And you know who he blamed it on? You. He said you invited him down <laughs> yes. in the rooms. Did you do this, true or false? <laughs> uh, uh, it slips my mind. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Bill, do, you, do you actually, in, in all honesty, do you, when you see him no. standing there, like, yeah. and by the way, dress, player, dressed Zach. in a Hawaiian shirt and the jacket doesn't match. <laughs> yeah. But when you walk past, you just go, what's oh, this Nuffy no. doing here? Nah, I'm a big fan. Oh, oh, no. No. There you go, Zach. Good boy. Respect. No. See, boys, oh, yeah, respect. Yeah, yeah. He's always looked after us at the Cremorne. So. Oh, <laughs> is that why? Yeah, yeah. Even though the, even though the food is shit ass. Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, more because we don't make it? Irish potatoes oh, and bloody some Irish bloody stew. Irish more. stew. What about a bit of sausage uh, curry, curry snags or something? <laughs> we do that. Are, are you aware, um, Zach, of the it's been 21, 29 years actually to the the week when Geelong yeah. scored the record thirty seven seventeen two hundred and thirty nine point scoreline, and that uh, the full forward on the day, that being Bill Brownless, managed three only <laughs> of those thirty seven goals. Three. That's poultry. That is. <laughs> But, Zach, you've always been very respectful, man. Yeah, very. And also dived into the history of not only the club but the game, and you're a little bit more senior. You must have some of the young blokes, when, like last night, uh, some of the sort of 25 and unders, they must come up to you as a senior bloke and go, who's the moon-headed bald bloke <laughs> who keeps hanging around our club? Yes. <laughs> Loitering around the uh, Yes. Yeah, He's, uh, he's trying to reinvent himself as uh, the cool guy around the uh, around oh. this bill, but I think that ship has sailed. Yeah, that's not him. <laughs> they just that's like to you, see bill. the past players. Oh, they they? Remember yeah, so... Plugger went down to St Kilda? Yeah, you a bit different very you. Much the same. Once or twice a year, Bill, not not three times a week. <laughs> a you go different. to training and everything. Yeah. Uh, Zach, good on you, mate. Uh, big game again Friday night, and it looks like we've found a spot for you finally. You might be playing down back. <laughs> Yeah, who'd have thought a career backman can play down back? Um, <laughs> it's, it's, nah, it's, it, I've actually really enjoyed uh, being thrown around a bit, to be honest. But, yeah, I kind of found my way back home last night. And it seemed mm. to work. And Luke Dallas, he looks sore. Mm. What a fall over the Cremorne during the week. But how is he? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, he did look a little bit lame uh, last night after a, a hit or something. But, um, yeah, I'm not actually sure how the little man has pulled up. But um, I'm sure he'll find a way to, to get up for a big game. Hey, great chatting yeah, to you well always. Done. Go and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Pleasure, guys. Nice to talk to you. See you, mate. Tui, and I'll tell you what, yeah, Tommy Stewart's another beauty back there. Oh, yeah. Nice boys in defence. Right. Uh, did Henry. a very Henderson. good job on Dusty Henry. last night. Did he? What? He just ran yeah, with him and he went up. Yeah. Just, they, they, the they looked at what Hibbert did yep, a couple certainly. of weeks prior. And said, yep. Hard yak, a new breed of Aussie legends. Toughness in their DNA. No shortcuts. They make it tough. They make it look oh. good. So don't you wear it, Fat Born in 1930. <laughs> our legendary status is in our heritage. Nuff Nuff of oh. the week next with yes. Bernard. Have we gone over time? No. 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 In fact, got about 25 more minutes. Oh, wow. Sucked Ex- in. Extra today, Bill. And no extra invoice from you either. In fact, you should be handing some back. For Hard Yakka, this is the Saturday Rub. Look at the guts on him. For McDonald's and Ream Hot Water, Triple M Rocks Footy. Footy. All right, Bernard. Now, uh, I've liked this segment. 
I've liked it a lot. In fact, Not I think bad. it's Bill a really Not good bad. innovation mm-hmm. for the Saturday rub. Except for when you drop me in it. So I just don't <laughs> no, make no, a no. strong oh, suggestion no. that done that. <laughs> I better just scrub that one out. There. <laughs> nah, well, if Bill just sticks in his chair and just puts his mic down, I might be able to get Good. things out clearly. Because you, Not you have been attacking me, haven't Not you? Not a great start, but go. But well, there, there you go again. You just try and bring. I know what you're trying to do. Try and bring me down. Lower my confidence. Not going to work. <laughs> I'm going to start with you, Bill. Now. Oh. I'm going to start with you. What about the stink? Oh, the stink. Oh, I told you, homeboy. <laughs> That's what you call a nuff nuff. Sting. Yeah, that's how we living and you know. Like a nuff nuff. Break it down. <laughs> how could I forget that? Because you, you are a nuff nuff. No, it worked. You rattled me. But I'm going to start with you now. I was going to go second. But, you know, we know a lot about each other around here, all the things we've done now. Duck, two time premiership captain. How many All Australians? Four or five? Seven. seven. Oh, oh seven. seven. Oh, well. Four as captain. Uh, four as captain, yeah. Any, anything Never else you want to throw which, which is a record, too. Oh. <laughs> Never okay. on the bench. They yeah, rotate it around now, though. Uh, do they? Yeah. yeah. Okay. To his vice. Jim, what, what did Jim do? He yes. averaged over 40, first class career. Comfortably over Ten. 40. Yeah. Oh, what? More exactly. than yeah. 44. 40, 40, 40, 41. <laughs> How many 41. hundreds? <laughs> Ten. Ten. For, Ten. For two states, too, Ten. Yeah. Oh, two <laughs> states. Damo. Damo, what did he do? Well, we heard the other week he's got all those I ran in a race ribbons hanging up around his house everywhere. He won a few media awards. The green ones. What are they called? The Quilkleys? The Quills? The Quills? Al the Browns. Uh, Al Browns. It's just we Al. don't know the name of them. Al Browns. <laughs> <That, laughs> I'll tell you, if you've got a record yes. Al Brown, sorry. at a Al ground Brown. that it, someone plays at every second week, trains at every week, it's a good you'd record. think they'd know who holds a record at that ground. <laughs> Would those young kids know who's kicked the most goals at the Gabba individually? Oh, no. Don't, Zork, do, oh, not, sorry. do not answer this question. <laughs> do you know who, Zork? <laughs> Oh, it's got to be Jonathan, doesn't it? <laughs> so, well, my question Jonathan is: Brown. Why, why do you own all the like the shit stats? <laughs> well, and you have to question. tell it. You ask a question, that's and a then no stat, one knows it? it. The most goals at the Gabba. No, nah, it is good, but no one knows about it. Well, they do. When you have to tell, you I ask tell a question, and then you have to tell everyone. I do. That's a good stat. I would have thought. Oh, okay. What's the most you ever kicked? Maybe one or two. Uh, f- Four and had about 38, I think. Oh. Anyway, now moving on to BT. I saw he's off the schedule again, so I've gone with him again. I, I know <laughs> oh, I've got to be oh, no. careful around yeah, this, but yeah. I mean, he's dro- been dropped to the twos anyway. He's oh. in the reserves today. He's got, he's got the blockbuster. North Melbourne and Collingwood this afternoon. So I'll tell you. Burn, be careful. Oh, right. <laughs> burn, <laughs> he's he's right. Right. You know what? <laughs> He'll spend more time in the resis if he keeps this up. Why is that an intercept, Mark Hodgie, given he was playing on him? Isn't that just a mark? Well, when they kick it, BT, and they intercept it, goes down as an intercept mark. I thought they just were just playing one on one his man. He marked it. Yeah, that, it's a mark, but it's an intercept because they kicked it. Wow. Well, come on, wow. BT. Now, he's got an issue with the intercept mark. Yeah, what what, what is has... with that? I'm on board with him. Yeah? I'm well, on board why? with him. Because if it's just a one, if it's a one-on-one contest, what he's what BT is saying. So if Damo and I are standing here and I mark it, that 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 is just a contested one-on-one mark. An intercept mark should be. Yes. It should be if you're on your opponent, you leave and go and support your your fellow teammate yeah, and yeah. then take the mark. Mm. That is an intercept mark. Otherwise, it's just a one-on-one. But mark. The champion data is why it's called that. I know. If is. you kick it and the other so, team mark so, it, it's automatically so, an intercept. So mark. that's what it's called. So we all know that. But BT saying it shouldn't be called. And I agree with him. Okay. Thanks, Doug. Oh, I don't. But anyway, moving on. <laughs> his replacement today a flat no, is Luke Darcy. Oh. So uh, even his replacement is uh, having a few issues. Oh. <laughs> Chris Scott has had an outside middle of the MCG team meeting that's gone for several minutes now. He's standing with all the players surrounding him and uh, just delivering a lengthy oration, Howie, which you don't see too often pre-game. So the only it. time you see it is when the Cats play and he does it every single time. But apart from that, you rarely <laughs> see it in the big time. I reckon I've only seen the Cats <laughs> Here we go. a couple of times this year and they've done it both times. <laughs> <laughs> he the Chiefs jumping on. That is. Yeah, they is. did it at, remember at GMHBA oh, yeah, Stadium when we they gave do it the every first week. gamer. Bill, yeah. we, we didn't know it Bill, was. they do it every they single week. Are you listening, Bill? That's the they do it every week. That's the idea. Idea. That's what I said. It's oh, you want to name any other what? games I've done? What? I've just seen an ad at uh, Chemist Warehouse for Jador. Oh. I might have to get oh, some of those. Going, oh, you're time. busy. Hey, <laughs> Kingy. We, we love Kingy. He's Ducks one of the best Kingy. experts. He's one of your ex-premiership teammates, Duck. Who's that? Uh, David King. Yes. Oh, you yes. weren't listening again? No, yeah. no surprise there. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, he is Carried respected him. as one of the great footy experts. Now, I just reckon he nailed it at halftime last night. Oh, 
look, just just at ground level, it feels like a long nine points to me. It feels like this is a this is a Richmond game. This is this is a game they thrive in. Those smalls working all the way up the ground, all the way back. It, it feels to me like they'll blow them. There's no way they can go 120 minutes playing this way, the Cats. Well, I think uh, might be what was the magic? Third, that, right? yeah, well, 13 goals to two after half time. <laughs> three points. Yeah, oh boy. Come on, King. I think there's a little bit of a thing with, with Kingy. Being, he, he was at Richmond for a little while, and he uh, he, he doesn't mind sort of... Uh, oh, oh, oh Licky. Uh, oh, what was that? Was that tongue out? No, he doesn't oh, mind. Oh. Um, hey, sort get of, up. You know, making oh, some up, people Doug. feel better. But he's always had a bit of a thing with the Scott boys. We oh, know that yes. because of Brad. So oh, whether there's a little the history. Of got I'm to not the bottom sort of, uh, sort of special a, investigation. Maybe, Beverage maybe. Barrett sort of. Maybe. Yeah. But anyway. Well, not as bad as that. We don't get him right every week, but it was a fair way off. Yeah, Who can't be? Who can't be? 13 goals. Now, this week, enough. Troy Luff. Now, that's going oh, back a little bit. I'm Doing a lot of here. special. I'm still, still here. here. Still here. Still here. <laughs> Had a couple of little run-ins with the duck over the time. <laughs> Altercations, I'll call them. But speaking of footy experts, he this man, is just he just nails it all the time. And, well, have a listen to this intel. Oh, no. Jordan Clark takes a fine mark. Probably about 48 from home, 45 degree angle. Bit of a mismatch there as young Stevens is giving away some serious height. Yeah, there is. I mean, Clark's uh, 185 and Stevens is. Uh, Tom, well, Tom. What's he at? Uh, he's at 184. It's only one centimetre. But it's <laughs> <laughs> oh, one no. centimetre! Oh, no. <laughs> we had to get Oh, boy. That Luffy. Oh, no. That was Luffy going, oh, yeah, oh, definitely. Oh, Have a look at the size of him. He's 185 and uh, oh, oh, only one of the <laughs> So, play it, Leroy. Nuff of the week. Oh. 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 We <laughs> have nuffed the luff. <laughs> the oh, luff. No, no. no, hang on. Oh, 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 oh hang on. Oh, you can't no, silly no, segment no, again. No, no, no. It top. needs some help. And there's oh. only oh. Oh. one nuff of the week, oh, Leroy. <laughs> The actual nuff of the week. And it's you, Bernie. Oh, it is you. Yeah, right. You're with the big dogs now. Have a listen to Nuffy Bernie. Hopefully it gives them a bit of drive for this second quarter because it's a bit of a wake-up call that quarter. This is, well, basically it's top versus bottom, isn't it? We've got a winless team. And a, what's what's the opposite? A lossless team? Undefeated. Undefeated. I'm going to go a lossless team. Lossless. Let's go on the theme, Bill. A lossless, lossless, team. lossless There's no word called get lossless that? team. Yeah, there actually is a word, but it doesn't mean... And you're still nothing. Oh, no. Who was the ringleader of the infamous Ramsgate Rumble... You can't say infamous. Oh, infamous, oh. yeah. Inf- say it again. You can't oh, say it. Infamous. Infamous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infamous. Thanks. You're a nuffy, mm. mate. Fair dinkum. <laughs> You're with the big dogs, okay? <laughs> I'll You're go in back. here now, Saturday, big dogs. Well, and you... actually, who? if we were dogs, right? You'd be a poodle, Jim. <laughs> You'd be a fluffy little poodle that bounce along the street like that. Like an equestrian horse. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, and duck. I'd be a kelpie. You'd be a Kel- rock wheeler. Cop- You'd, be rah, 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 rah. You'd be a rock wheeler. Kelpie. You'd be you. I think it's a rock uh, wheeler. Rock wheeler. Rock wheeler. Don't <laughs> Yeah, what am I, Bill? You're a corgi. You're a... <laughs> <laughs> You're just a little oh, oh, Here we go. What, what, what are you, Bill? You, a shih tzu. <laughs> <laughs> and yourself? <laughs> I'm just a nice, nice little border collie. Nice big, oh, yeah. nice big yeah. lab. Yeah. Nice big, big, big lab. Huge fat thing. <laughs> 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 Those ones that get that fat yeah. and go skateboard yeah. underneath yeah. them. Nice, nice big <laughs> lovable <laughs> Labrador. <laughs> Infamous. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. nice, Thanks, but Matt. I like it very, what very good. Very what good. about St Kilda taking on the Gold Coast here, Jim? The Kings, the King boys up against each other. Max v Ben. And it's, I think we've gone gonna four minutes. Max, v. King, Max v. King. Four minutes into it. Gold Coast 117 now. St Kilda yet to score. Centre wing. Nicely done. That bit of news we can get to here, uh, Purple, because I know we've got oh, uh, lots of stuff to do that. prior yep. to the game. But uh, love that, Bernard, always. Uh, what's kicking around with the news antenna from the main man in the caper? Where's it going? I wanted to touch on the uh, debutante for the Bulldogs on the, on the weekend, uh, Buku Kamas, who has um, been in Australia now for since the age of six, born in South Sudan, duck, spent time in a Kenyan refugee. G camp. I, I just love the story, Burn, because all the talk during the past couple of weeks was what will happen with uh, Jamara Eugle Hagen when it came to a yeah. debutant for the Bulldogs. And this yeah. guy's come out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, Luke Beveridge and others spoke uh, to the club when they announced his first game in, during the week. And this is part of what the uh, the coach did say about the uh, the debut this week of Kamish. A couple of years ago, when you became an Australian citizen, remember we gave you all the everything Aussie, you know, from the surf shop and 
Mate, you were a million to one to play your, your first game back then. And I remember when we came back from the the hiatus when we uh, got stood down and you came back, we had that first session here. You were two million to one to make you debut. We haven't given up on you, and that's you've taught us all the lesson. You know, you've got to keep investing in your people and, and see it through. And we're looking forward to seeing you running out there, and you, you're going to enjoy it. And you're going to do well. So it was emotional, that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. And, and it's deserving of that emotion attached to that story when you actually uh, go through the layers of, of it, given uh, where he's come from. What one size? million to one when yeah. he arrived. And then when he started training, drifted. he drifted to two, two million, million to one. Once well, they Sheepers. saw him actually move. But yeah. uh, no, exciting. Yeah. Still, I love those sort of stuff. Yeah, I do too. 190 centimetres and 85 in the handbook he is. There you go. Mm. Yep. And uh, listed as a rookie, obviously. Yeah. And, and they've got great success with rookie listed players there at the Bulldogs. Yes, they basically them. all get games. Uh, he plays them, Jim. We spoke does, about this during yeah, the week. Right. He's not scared. Magnets yep. right around. Yep. Jim, I uh, just want to talk about this. Now, there was a greater context to, to, to this, what we're about to hear from David Noble at North Melbourne, using the word process against the word win. They've got a, a game against Collingwood this week. Lost 14 of their last 15 last year under a different coach, obviously. And all seven of this year. This is, uh, this is part of what David Noble said. This is going to sound a little bit strange. We're not chasing a win. We're chasing process. We're really hell-bent on growing, getting better, and being really consistent in our methodology around what that process looks like. We, we know we get the process right, then the outcome delivers itself. Look, I, I know there's, there's a deeper sentiment to that, and, and p- for people who want to um, catch up with it, they, they can go onto other platforms and get the full context of it. But Sometimes, win. sometimes when you've won one game out of your last 22, a win's pretty significant. You've got to win. You've got to go in thinking you win. You don't go in thinking no, it is strange, this is a process. It's strange wording yeah. because it's a win-loss game. And That's if you right. start telling your people that winning doesn't matter, yeah. then you can get yourself into a deep hole. And they're playing the team one rung above them on the ladder who has had a another really bad week. What happens if they lose today? Uh, it, it, what could it, happen? It, the, um, could, could Nathan... Carnage. Carnage on across all levels. Look, you know what my view is on it, Bill. I've, I've felt that Jeff Brown will be taking over the presidency of that football club at some stage reasonably soon. And, and Eddie? Eddie will be back? No, he won't be back, but um, he's a mate of Jeff's. All right, for Hard Yakka, this has been the Triple M Saturday Rub. Big game coming up next. GWS and Essendon for McDonald's and Ream Hot Water. Triple M rocks Saturday afternoon footy.